Hi, Harriet Gordon here, and today I want to tell you about an exercise or activity that you can do with the set of books. And I've got a video recording of me reading them, but if at all possible, I recommend that you get them. Um, one, there's no substitute for holding books in your hand, and two, we want to support our authors and our artists. They help enrich our lives. So um, I'm going to set all these things aside for now. I have colored pencils and some little miniatures, but for now I'm going to prep the exercise. And I just grabbed a little lid from the kitchen. Um, ordinarily I say like the result is not what's important, and it's not, but in this case I want to make sure that I have three equal sizes on each page because we're going to have a visual representation that all feelings are equally valid. And I know that you probably won't go through all of that with the kid or kids that you're working with, but it's good to know that as the adult, that's the reason for this part of the process. So I'm going to do three on one page and three on the other. And if you want, you could just do five. That's the number of um, feelings that are discussed in the movie and in the book. But I prefer to do six because those are the six universal feelings and all of the other feelings can be kind of condensed into variations or mixed feelings of these universal six. So um, what I might do is have the kid pick out what feeling they want to start with. Let's say joy. And even if they want to like color it first in that particular color of the feeling that's associated in the movie and the books, that's cool. And so if you happen to be a sand tray therapist or um, you have kids at home with all these little, you know, little toys and things, you know, like the 25 cent bubblegum dispensary things, um, you can ask them. What are some things that help you feel joy? Or what are some things that bring up joy for you? And you can talk about joy being happy as well. And for instance, they could put this little giraffe there. Well, one time I went to the zoo and we got to feed the giraffes and that was just so fun and so funny and I was really happy that day. And if you want, they can put more than one. But if you don't have these little toys and miniatures, then you can have them draw things that make them feel joy like a sunny day and playing at the swings. Okay, so then move on to fear. Fear is purple. And it's helpful just to label them to keep them straight as you're talking about them in fear. Ooh. So let's see. Fear. I have a little fence here. I want to keep out the things that make me feel afraid. Okay. Or, I mean, this could be anything. Um, it's an electric fence at, you know, my Pop Pop's farm and I don't want to touch it because I'm afraid. It could be anything. Um, and again, they can draw if they don't have access to these little miniatures. Be something fear. Um, scared of spiders. That's a common one. Um, let's see. Fear of snakes. Lots of times there's you know animals that are associated with fears especially when you go younger with kids that are younger and they have very concrete ideas um, older kids or teenagers might start to think more abstractly like I'm um, afraid of you know people are gonna laugh at me or uh, my friends are gonna stop being my friends those kinds of things so let's see green for disgust Okay, 
And that might be a little scorpion guy. And I know in the movie they talk about broccoli. So I'm going to try and drop broccoli. Good enough. Um, it can be anything that the kids can find disgusting, like um, garbage and the smelliness. Ugh. Okay. And I think you get the idea, but we'll just continue with the visual representation. Anger. Okay, and then the one that they don't discuss in the movie, but which is included in the six universal feelings, is surprise. war sadness we watched that documentary about you know garbage going into the the oceans and it's hurting our our ocean animals and i'm really sad about that um surprise we went to that air show and it was you know really neat but it was also really loud and that surprised me um of course it can draw whatever corresponds as well so i think that's about it but as far as whatever comes up for them you just accept it yeah i can see what that was really scary oh i remember that documentary i felt sad watching that too um let's talk about how you know when we feel sad how that feels in our body like for me i feel like a lump in my throat or feel like my my heart is heavy how do you feel when you feel sad and it really can be a way to teach acceptance of all feelings and that we don't necessarily just feel one thing at a time okay um, I think that's it I hope it was helpful thanks bye